Hello. Hello. I'm Mark. And I'm Joe. And this is a very quick, instant finish. Instant finish. We are going to bring you bite-sized reviews of big finishes that have come out this week. Yeah, so just instant, really quick, not the full shebang. <laughs> just a really quick, this is out now, should you get it, what do we think? Uh, just to keep things up to date a little bit. And today we've got a banger to talk about. What are we talking about today? Well, we are talking about Rani takes on the world. 13 Bannerman Road is where... Rani Chandra is too... Oh, she's too emotional to go in there at the moment, isn't she? Rani Takes on the World Beyond Bannerman Road was released this month, April 2023. <laughs> uh, starring Angie Mahindra as Rani. Also featuring Daniel Anthony as Clyde and Mina Anwar as Geeta. Blooming lovely. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the episodes were written by Joseph Lister... James Goss and Lizzie Hopley. Hopley. Mm. We are uh, directed by Helen Goldwyn, with music by Sam Watts. Okay, so two things immediately we need to talk about, and that yep. is written by Joseph Lister, yep. with music by Sam Watts. Joseph Lister wrote plenty of Sarah Jane Adventures back in the day, so this is authentic, and Sam Watts scored the Sarah Jane Adventures. So immediately, this feels like a successor to that old TV show, which instantly I absolutely loved. Yeah, and there's always been talk, ever since Sarah Jane Adventures finished, there's When's always been talk, like, when they're going to well, do it. When they're versus it. Aliens. And they said it's not going to do it. Not. I was quite surprised, actually, when they did announce this. Okay, let's just go into the first. So there's three episodes. Yes, right. Three separate stories mm -hmm. here. Uh, and the first one... Oh, we should also say, and we should decide now, live on camera... <laughs> How many, are we doing spoilers for people or not? Oh. If we're saying go out and get it, should we try and edge around? Spoiler warning, spoiler warning. So you want to do spoilers? Yes, I do, yeah. Okay, everyone, there are spoilers. So there's <laughs> no point watching serious? this review before you get it or not. You've okay, just got to everyone. get it first. There are spoilers. <laughs> You're so serious. Well, I don't want to spoiled. <laughs> no, no, no people, you will be spoiled. So okay. go, go and listen to this first. Okay. Well, the first episode here today by Joseph Lister, that sets everything up, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we get Rani back. Uh, Clyde. She, she hasn't seen Clyde for a long time. And it does reference the funeral of Sarah Jane Smith, yeah. which they did a lockdown. So this is... She hasn't been back to Bannerman Road no. since the funeral. Uh, oh, probably since that, what's it, Farewell Sarah Jane Smith? Yeah. They go back afterwards, don't they? She's mm. there in the doorway saying, you know, we have marvellous adventures with Sarah yeah. Jane Smith. It's a good opener. It just does what it should do and set everything up and bring us the characters back and their relationships where they are at. And all of these, actually, they've got really small casts. There's only sort of four or five yeah. actors in each one. So it's not your massive, I don't know, like Mind of the Hodiac or something. Exactly. Had like tons Angelina of Angelina Mahindra, she's a big uh, you know, yeah. TV star now. Yeah. She's charging exorbitant fees. So th I don't mean that. <laughs> <laughs> so these are sort of fairly smaller stories, aren't they? They're, they're all pretty... Well, the second one's set on a massive mm. island, but they are all pretty small. Can I just say, immediately, I thought the first one was the best of the set. I really like that. I, well, we listened to this like straight away. Yeah. Got through it, really, and I really it's wanted more. After doing it. your classic time loop story, yeah, and it's doing it a bit like Eve of the Daleks, where they know with each time it's a time loop, and every single time it gets sort of faster and faster, doesn't it? Mm. And they're like straight to the point. Look, I know you are. I know you are. I know where you've been. Let's go. Let's get on with the plot. Um, but it's got a secondary plot taking place underneath it, uh, all about um, a woman who fell in love with an alien years back. And the alien is trying to get mm. back to her. Uh, it's a really simple love story, but it's got real heart to it. Mm. Real heart. And do you remember throughout the entire story, they wouldn't mention Sarah Jane Smith's name, would they? No, they didn't. And I kept saying, they ain't got the rights to use her name. But no, the bastards, they waited till right. And I thought to myself, you know what? I'm not getting emotional like I normally do with the Sarah Jane Adventures. And then right at the end, Joseph Lidster, you git, you stabbed me right in the heart. It was so yeah. emotional. I was in tears at Gatwick Airport. Because there's a lot of references to the Sarah Jane Adventures when Clyde and Riley meet back up and they're you know talking about old times and things. Mm -hmm. So it reintroduces a few bits and pieces. 
But and then, yeah, at the end, well, they also talk about they actually, you know, the Sarah Jane series that Big Finish. They mention Nat. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. Ties uh, her whole um, timeline into and Maria, and you know, all the from, from Sarah and Jane. Best and stuff. of all. Brendan from Canine. Brendan as well. <laughs> they mention that, so that it goes right to the end. And there's that bit where there's all the sort of older companions, you know, Ace, mentioned, yeah. Dodo's mentioned. Dodo very briefly, Chaplet in her what very, was it? very briefly. In her BMW Camp, or Camp something. <laughs> well, this is the thing. Because I'm going to up that. Laura Cornelius, can you come in series two, please, of <laughs> <laughs> where Arnie takes on the world? Well, because it's interspersed. She's got this time loop with, with Rani and Clyde, and it's interspersed with this older woman talking, this other storyline going on. And there was a lot of focus because it started on um, 23rd November 1963. And I was like, what, why oh, are they doing that? Who? And I was like, why is that date significant? Have they just chosen? Because it's, it's, it's not. not though. It's no. not. But I was like, why is that? And then as it was going through, and then I was, dead, I was thinking, Oh my god, that old woman isn't Dodo, is it? Or an old companion, or they've suddenly done something. Do you know what I mean? I thought it could have been, been, been that, just because of those yeah. things. Your mind starts putting things together, but it's not that at all. And but it doesn't matter. It it was brilliant and it set everything up, and I, I really enjoyed it. It was confident. It was funny. Yeah. Mm. It was witty. It brought yeah. in Clyde and Rani so authentic to the show, yeah. and the performances. Angelina Mahindra and Daniel Anthony. Yeah. It feels like they were in those roles last week. I know. Yeah. You know, they they just stepped right back into it. Mm. I think Joe Lister just knows how to write mm. those characters really well. And it feels in the gaps because they're both in their 30s and Clyde has a girlfriend, a pregnant girlfriend in this as well. So yeah. that introduces her Comes in of where they are, all, right. all that. But yeah, overall, brilliant opener. Yeah, 9 out of 10. Absolutely, Absolutely. brilliant. Okay. And, and I was just sort of gagging for what came next. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, and then the next episode... Oh, Mina and moi. So that is called Destination Wedding by James Goss. Mm. And that brings in Mina and moi. Who is one of my all-time favourite semi-regular characters in this show ever? <laughs> She's brilliant. Isn't Rally, she? my darling. Why haven't you found a boyfriend yet? <laughs> <laughs> so this one, <laughs> set on an island, it hasn't got Clyde in it. It's more just Rani and her mother at a mm -hmm. wedding. So it, it's set everything up in that first episode. Now she's off, and there's a there's a mystery to unfold. A little bit of a strange story structure for me. Because yeah. not that much really happened. But then it all got wrapped up in like... These are like our episodes. It's effectively it's, like, it's set on this um, Caribbean island and this woman's having this dream wedding. All these mm. A-list celebrities. Everyone's there, aren't they? Yeah. And um, Banana Rama are back together. And that... No, was it Banana Rama? <laughs> sugar oh, Sugar Babes. Babes. Sorry. <laughs> I'm old. Um, well, all these references to these A-list celebrities. Or people that don't appear. They're just does talked it, does off, say as off screen. The Hemsworth brothers have just yeah, appeared. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's well, very witty. I thought it was very funny. It's very funny, but... The mystery is stretched out so long mm. that those no, last... That was like, good. No, 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 that was good. Because well, it was, but then the conclusion was so quick. Yeah, I don't think the confusion really was happened. very good, and that no, was the problem. That's the thing. There so was I'm an alien-y alien thing. The suspense but... lasted for ages, and that was what kept mm. me interested. But I think on a character level, this worked brilliantly. Because mm. Goss says in the... Um, Goss, sorry. James, <laughs> James Goss says in the special features that um, it's all about Rani. You know, when you sort of go to a wedding mm. as a 30-something and you're wondering, why am I never the bride? What's going on in my life? <laughs> am I <ha> <laughs> Sorry. Why am I never the bride? <laughs> <laughs> if you want to put a ring on it. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, and so it was, was her questioning her life choices, basically. Mm. And on that level, it scored brilliantly. And, mm. the, you know, the worst thing in the world is to go to one of these weddings where you're having serious, you know, life quandaries with mm. your mother mm. when your mother's Gita... Gita Chandra, you know, <laughs> and she's going, oh, my lovely, I wouldn't have had those prawns. I wouldn't have had, oh, he's very beautiful. Go, go and have sex with that man. Well, she didn't say that, but you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, she's trying to set him up with everyone. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was fun. It was fun. And it, it worked was. on a character level. It wasn't quite as good as the first one, no. but it was really fun. And then the third story yes. by Lizzie Hopley. Lizzie Hopley. Uh, the Witching Tree, completely different format. Yeah. It threw me a bit. And Very it's really, simple, this, because, wasn't so, it? Uh, so we should also explain, Rani has a popular podcast, so she's quite well known for this podcast. So then it Get uses, an original idea, Rani so, Chandra, all right. Of course they're going to do the sort of podcast found footage style 
Mm. So she's that investigating really this witch intrigue. So Rani's going around. She can then, brilliant for audio, she can talk to herself and us as she's explaining what's going on because she's explaining for the podcast audience. But they even but did, then, didn't they? They did the mic, like a mic sounds yeah. on a podcast. So I yeah. thought sort of on an audio level, it mm. really sounded authentic. Yeah. And then that the structure of it is a bit odd and there was... Various, so there's, so there's few various characters like in this. clips where she's possessed, yeah. so that's sort of cut in, and then Clyde comes back into this, and there's lots of sort of phone calls back and forth. Um, it took me a while to get into that, but actually, that was uh, really clever to have a completely different style of storyline and to show Rani what she's what she's been up to. Really, she's been doing all this investigative stuff, hasn't she? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, well, and it was nice to have something that was a bit spookier in this set as well. Yeah. Because the first cool. one is sort of time travel romance. The second one is sort of... Mm. Um, it's a character tale with a lot of comedy in it. Mm. But this one, you've got these scenes with Rani being possessed. Yeah, which I thought, thought actually, scary. Andrew played brilliantly. Yeah. You are creepy, as yeah. if you're listening to this. All right. There was one thing I was going to say when I was first listening to that the first story and this whole set um i was thinking it's great that big finish have moved these characters on they're doing their own thing they've got their own sort of sarah jane series yeah style thing please don't do what they usually do with all of these series and bring in you know like the guy from unit is in the ninth doctor adventures and lady christina and they're throwing like these big finish only characters across different things yeah. i was like it'd be really nice to keep this as its own thing yeah. i didn't realize that guy in the third episode that is Rani's inform informant. What's his name? Is it he was the fella from the first one? Wasn't he? Um, what's his name? Tyler Steele. Yeah. Um, he's a regular in all the uh, Torchwood Big Finish oh, stories. He's in A Gods Among Us okay. and Aliens Among Us. Oh, and it doesn't saying, matter. Yeah. You don't need to. And I thought, oh, they've done it, though. They've wedged somebody in it there from their It adds more context thing. to other things, but then you have to it buy those matter, other things in order to enjoy They always this. do that. I was yeah. like, it'd be really nice to keep this as its own thing, yeah, yeah. rather than suddenly someone from this series is coming in for the next one. All that. We'll see what happens. But they have, but it was very minor, but that he is the guy that sets your running up with all these mysterious things, and he's from Torchwood, yeah. which adds that extra layer if you do do all of these big finish things, which we will eventually. I did think, I, I thought this was the weakest of the three. So mm. basically it was a law of diminishing in terms. I thought the first one was the best, second one was the, and the mm. last one was the weakest. But it was still very listenable, and... All three of them showed me that this series really has legs because they can yeah, do yeah. all different genres, like the Sarah Jane Adventures. Mm. Could, I mean, basically, we knew this had legs because the Sarah Jane Adventures yeah, could course. have just gone on and on and on. And this is just a touch more more it's mature, a little bit more. Because there's the talk of um, pregnancy up. and there's talk of relationships in a quite mature way and things mm. like that. And there's that fabulous on-off thing between Clyde and Rani, Clarny. <laughs> well, which Go is going to keep going on and on. They can just oh, milk that all it. its oh, worth, can't they? Bonk at some point, haven't they? I don't think they will in this. I mean, we're talking about adult. We're not talking about adult. <laughs> <laughs> but um, it was still fun, that last one. And it had a really great premise of this weird tree, this tree. coming out of a restaurant. How did you imagine that? Um, I thought I'd just imagine like a Pizza Express with a massive tree in the middle. Well, I, yeah, but <laughs> I imagine the tree is like uh, that big red tree from uh, Flux. Oh, no, I just thought it was like a willow, like just a tree. <laughs> but, that, but that's a good strong image mm, you know very good. and well, I don't want to spoil this because it's there are some massive revelations now. <laughs> yeah but there are big revelations at mm. the end of yeah. the third one where a character is revealed to be not who we thought they were so and initially I thought that was very well done and then I was like bloody hell well, how do you deal with the ramifications of that the consequences like mm. are, are we just going to forget about that character next week mm. I don't know um but it was it was it was pretty good. Yeah. Okay, well we're heading up to fifteen minutes, so we need to finish quick, or finish big quick, or whatever we're doing. Instant so finish. This is our instant finish. We'll be finishing instantly. <sighs> I always finish instantly. <laughs> <laughs> you would know. Um, this was fab. It was yeah, really, really good. Really, really. I good. think in a in a time where Big Finish are you know, churning out one it stands spin off out. after another, this is above top that. Top tier. It's definitely above that. It's funny. It's involving. It's got characters we love. It's mm. really well acted. It's directed by fucking Helen Goldwyn, and she's oh, a terrific director. Everyone, go out and buy her some Horlicks. She needs. <laughs> <laughs> she needs it. Probably. Can you just say the joke there? Well, nothing gets between me and my Horlicks. Her first appearance in Big oh. Finish was the Spectre of London Moor as yeah. the hiker. Nikki. 
Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, no, I thought this was great. This was really, really great. Yeah. And I would say go out and buy this now. If Absolutely. you've got any reservations. Away. If you love the Sarah Jane Adventures, you will love Rani Takes on the World. Is that what it's called? Ronnie takes on the world, and this one is called Beyond Bannerman. Beyond Bannerman Road. So I think the next one will be that called a mouthful. Ronnie takes on the world, whatever. I don't know what it's called. Okay, buy it. Okay, well, let's finish instantly. Don't forget to finish instant. <laughs> <laughs>